Hello. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and show how to convert from base 10 to base 2. Now, we've already learned how to do this in an algorithmic fashion. And let me just take this first number, 45, and do that. Um, 45 divided by 2 is going to give me 22, remainder 1. So then 22 divided by 2 is going to give me 11, remainder 0. And then 11 divided by 2 is going to give me 5, remainder 1. And then 5 divided by 2 is going to give me 2, remainder 1. 2 divided by 2 is going to give me 1, remainder 0. 1 divided by 2 is going to give me 0, remainder 1. And then as soon as I hit a 0 there, I know I'm done. So all I do is I take this and I rewrite it out in this direction. So therefore, I know that 45 in base 10 is the same as 101101 in base 2. That's great, but it's a little time consuming. And one thing, especially if you're interested in computer science or computer engineering, you're going to see a lot of binary. So it's really good to get develop some tricks to, to conversions. And here's one way to do it a little bit a way that I find a little faster. Um, another thing to mention about if you go into computer science or computer engineering, you're going to memorize this. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024. These are simply the powers of 2. In my prime I could give you probably all the powers of 2 up to 2 to the power of 30. but I'm a little rusty now. But anyways, now that we have these, we know these represent each placeholder in our value. So I know that if I take a look at this base 2 number here, right, that 1 is representing 2 to the power of 0, that 0 is 2 to the power of 1, that 1 is 2 to the power of 2, and so on and so forth. So if I start by taking a look at my number, which is 45, and I kind of go down this list, and I find the largest number that goes into 45 that isn't 45, which is 32. So what I can do here is I know that I have to have that switched on. So then I say to myself, okay, well, 32 plus 16. 32 plus 16 is actually bigger than 42. Sorry, 45. So I don't want that. So I'm going to switch that off. And then I say, okay, 32 plus 8. 32 plus 8 is 40. So 32 plus 8 is 40. And that means that we're going to be still less than 45. So I'm going to flip that on. And so now I'm at 40. 40 plus 4 is 44, which is still less than 45. That's good, so I'm going to flick that on. 44 plus 2 is going to give me 46, which is bigger than 45, so I can't use that. I'm going to flick that off. And then 44, pl 44 plus 1 is 45, so I have to flick that on. And what you'll start to notice is that anytime you have an odd number in base 10, you always have the rightmost bit flipped on. And when I say on, I mean one. So this is a method you can apply to convert from base 10 to base 2 without having to go through this division process. So let's do 568. Well, if I take a look at this, and I'd, I'd probably have my calculator for this. So 568 is, we can think of it right here. So we know that 512 is the biggest one I can, I can use without going over. Let's change our color shade to gray. So I know that's a 1. So then what I say is I say 512 plus 256. So 512 plus 256 plus 256 is 768. That's too big. That's bigger than 568, so that's going to be flicked off. So then I say 512 plus 128. So 512 plus 128 is going to give me 640. That's too big, so that's going to be flicked off. 512 plus 68. That's going to give me 580. That's too big, so that's going to be flicked off. So then 512 plus 32. 544. Ah, so 512 plus 32 is equal to 544. That's, that's lower than 568, so let's flick that on. 
So now I'm going to say 544 plus 16. And that's going to give me 560, which is less than 568. So we're going to flick that on. So then I'm going to say 560 plus 8. Well, 560 plus 8 gives me 568. And, and convenient. So I'm going to flick that on. And now 568 is the same as the number I'm looking for. So I don't need to flick on any of the other switches. So 0, 0, 0. So therefore, 568 and 68 in base 10 is equal to, and again, we're going to read from bottom up, 1001110000 zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero, zero in base 2. And I can always pop up my calculator. And let's go from binary, so 1001110000, one, zero, 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 one, 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 zero, 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 and then convert to decimal, and there we go, 568. So that is a quicker way to do it, especially if your mental math skills are on the ball. I hope that helped.